Hello again. I pulled out some, oops, that's shaking around a little bit. I've pulled out some stuff and I'm playing at my desk and I came up with this cute, this cute little fish ball. So I figured I could show you how to make it. So what I did was I used my label punch, my little mini label punch. I think this is a Stampin' Up! one. Um, and I just punched these out to make the top. And I had a two and a quarter inch circle punch or die, punch these out. And then I had this stamp set, which I went ahead and just stamped out the whole set twice. And it gave me lots of little words. And it gave me a fish. And then I had these other little fish that I stamped out. So, and then this little seahorse is one that I, I actually carved many years ago. So I stamped some of those out too. So I've already cut them out and colored them in. The only thing I have left to do now is just go around them with my uh, little ink pad. And that just makes them all match. And it takes that sharp white edge off of all of them. It softens them up a little bit. little fish just so comical looking. Looks like it belongs in a comic book. And I love the little puffer fish with the lips. <laughs> That's so funny. It's funny when my girls were little. Then I used to tell them the story about the puffer fish who went to school First they had a bad morning at home. Their shoelace broke and the, the toothpaste was a flavor they didn't like. And their sister had used their toothbrush and the puffer fish was getting so mad, but didn't say anything, just kept it in and then missed the school bus. Mom had to drive them to school or swim them to school. And then they got to school and they had a bad day there and then by the time they got home, they blew up into this puffer fish. And so, and then I would tell them that there's, there's a secret formula to, to let all those feelings out without hurting other people's feelings and without making it worse. And so I wrote on a big piece of cardboard, when you blank, I feel blank and I want blank. And they could put their initials up on it. Anytime anybody would make them angry, then they were allowed to put their initials up on it, up on the board, if they used that formula. <laughs> and they actually liked it. And they would look at the board and they would say, when you use my toothbrush, I feel angry and I want you to not use my toothbrush anymore. All right, whoops, I wanted to go around these two. So that's funny how the puffer fish reminds me of that, that story. For quite a few years, I taught at the, at the women's prison also, and that's one of the stories we shared with the women in the prison to get them to learn how to express their feelings in a safe way, a non-threatening way. these. 
Now these circles can be made into fish tanks, or if you turn it upside down, it could be a snow globe. And you don't have to have the punches either. You can just trace around circles and Be, do we have five? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, okay. So that's good. Alrighty, so making these, what I did was might be running out of that. Alrighty. So put this on and then put that on and then Put on another one there. So it looks like this. And then I got to do the water on the bottom, which I just took a big long <laughs> paper strip. And then start from the top. sand at the bottom is pretty much any color so any scrap paper that you have will work so that's all I did and I'm just going to turn it over and trim it I did curl this this other fish in here and I put a I don't know if you can see that but I put a 3d dot behind and I glued the tail down and put the 3d dot right in the middle of the belly so what I think I'm gonna do with this is glue the the fins down and put the little piece of 3d t tape in the middle of the body just to poof it up a little bit there that's cute okay and then we can do the water blooping up do the water and then h2o <laughs> cute. You can also put it up here. Nope, I think I like it down in there. Okay, so let's do that. That's cute. All right, so I've got two done. Those are adorable. I like those. All righty, let's do one of these fish down. All right, so first I have to, gotta glue these together. Glue it on the bowl. water on the bottom. I'm thinking of doing this one. Why not?
just trim that off. Oh, I jabbed my finger with this this morning. Oh man, with these silly, silly scissors of mine. That really hurt. Alrighty, so there's some more water. Nice. And let's do one of these fish. We'll have to put this one on this way. Maybe. Nope, we could do it that way. Little fish. Let's see what that's going to look like. I'll have to come down farther to fit that in. So let's put this on. That's another way you can curl them is just curl them over marker. <laughs> All right, so I just need a piece of 3D tape on the back of that one. And that's cute. All righty. Now, I don't know, do I like the gold one better or the blue? The blue's kind of pretty too. I think I kind of like the gold better though. That's funny, I'm wondering how this blue is going to look. But I'm going to, I don't know, I'm going to try it. sand, whatever it's called. <laughs> I really enjoy making embellishments out of my scraps because a lot of times if, if I go brain dead and don't know what to stamp or don't know what to make for a card and I need a quick card then I can just grab this and start with this. So and that makes it a lot easier for me. Alrighty. Let's see. Let's do another one of these.
Go so right on my seat. The right way up. Don't drop it again. Okay. Good. All righty then. There and then. Little fish. Do that, or do I want the gut water? <laughs> I'll do that. That's cute. Alrighty. Got water. There we go. That's cute. Hmm. Alrighty. So, let's try one more. H2O. Or two more, all right. Oh, we could try this dark blue. these. These are cute. Let's do another one of these guys. He has this too much white in this mouth there. Yeah, that's better. Cute. Alrighty, let me need this. I think I'm gonna put this one up here this time. Why not? That's kind of cute. Alrighty, and then one left. Let's do the dark 
blue again. I kind of like that one. Dark blue, I don't know. Oops, I need a little bit of Oops, I can use that on the bottom. I'll pull this piece off. Use that right here. Whoops. crooked too, but that's okay. When my husband and I first got married then, the living room was full of fish tanks. He had so many fish tanks. One whole wall in the living room was filled with fish. Ooh, that went a little crooked here. All right. There, that's why it looked crooked. And we live on a road where the power, well, the power used to go out a lot, at least once or twice a week. We'd have a power surge because they, they don't like to update the wiring on the poles. So they would, with so many power surges, then they, uh, the filter, the filters would die on us. So he was constantly buying new filters. That's cute. I think I might need that down a little bit farther though. Well, we'll see. All right, H2O could go up there if I need it to, or actually, Ah, it could go down there. Alrighty, so then I need this and the bubbles. Alright, let's do the bubbles first. Bloop, 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 bloop. are cute. Alrighty, so I made six of them. I really like the way they came out. That's really cute. Which one is your favorite? Do you have a favorite? I like those. Very nice. Oh, and I wanted to show also, I actually finished while I was working on these some more, after we, after I got off the last time I did a, a video, and I wanted to show you that I changed it up a little bit. I went around and I was doing the little black dots around these, these little embellishments, and I wanted to give you a closer view so you can see how they look. And I actually 3D'd some of them, so I just put another, punched out an extra one and laid them on top, and some of these 
and I wanted to give you a closer look of what they look like. Just with the little tiny mini punches and little pearls and bows. See, and I still have more room to make some more down on the bottom. Alrighty, so I have done those. And I also did, let's see, where are they? Oh, yes. I made, I did this bag. Somebody dropped the bag off at my door with, with goodies. And so I used my, my strip on the top of it, <laughs> the border strip that I like to make, and just cut it real thin and glued it on the top so I can re reuse it, repurpose the bag for probably one of my daughters. So I thought that was a cute idea and that's using, again, using up these, these border strips that I like to use, that I like to make out of the scrap paper. So I did that. Another thing I was just playing around with was, was a piece of scrap paper and made a ruffle. So I thought that would be kind of cute to go along the, the side of a card or the bottom of a card. Give it a little ruffle. You could actually use it either side. That's cute. Hmm. That's kind of cute too. Alrighty. And then I did these flowers, which I just used my Sharpie and just colored on the inside of envelopes. Drew some flowers and cut them out. And I think I'll probably put a little gem or something in the center of them. Or maybe a, a little mini flower. That could be. And then these, I had a book, a sheet of book a page. And I just laid it down. And I'm, I think I did six, yeah. So I just started, I had a little pile of scraps, so I just started gluing them down. And then when I was done with that, then I just tore them apart to make some clusters. And then I went around the edges and used words on them. So this one says prayer. This one says pray. This one, that was from an envelope that I had, the flower praise, and just little tiny bits and pieces, joy, godly, a little flower, and God, so just bits and pieces, so I figured I could throw those on a card front, maybe with some praying hands, for comfort, for a thinking of you, or since um, condolence card. I thought that would be a good idea. Alrighty, so that's it for today. Thank you for joining me. I hope I've given you some ideas to use your scraps. And until we meet again, happy crafting. <laughs>